Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on leveling. Let us read the question. In running fly leveling from a benchmark of reduced level 100 meter, the following readings were taken. Back sides are given and four sides are given. From the last position of the instrument, six pegs at 25 meter intervals are to be set out on a uniformly falling gradient of 1 in 250. The top of the first peg is to have a reduced level of 99.205 meter. Work out the stop readings required to set out the tops on the given gradient. Show the results as it is shown in your level book. There are four back sides given in the question. So there should be four four sides, but there are only three four sides. So after this back side, some of the readings are missing. You can see here from the last position of the instrument, six pegs at a 25 meter intervals are to be set out. So after this back side, there should be six readings. The falling gradient is given as one in 250. 1 vertical, 250 horizontal. Since it is a falling gradient between the last 6 readings, there will be only fall. We can find the fall very easily between 2 consecutive readings. For 250, it is 1. But we need the fall for 25 meter. We have to multiply that. In this way, we will get the fall between two individual readings as a 0.1 meter. Using the rise and fall method, we can find the missing readings. This is the first back side and this is the first four side. It is the second back side and this is the second four side. This is the third back side and this is the third four side. This is the fourth back side as given in the question. After this back side, there will be six readings. The last reading should be the four side. The remaining five readings should be the intermediate side. As given in the question, the first station is the benchmark. In that, the reduced level is given as 100. In these six stations, for the first station, the reduced level is given as 99.205. In the station number 2, 3 and 4, there are back side and four sides. In this case, they will be the change points. This reading will be in peg number 1 and this will be in 2, this will be 3, this will be 4, this will be 5 and this will be in 6. In these, between two consecutive readings, the fall is 0.1. We can apply that. Up to the fourth station, we can find the rise and fall. This minus this, we will get a positive value, so that should be in a rise. This minus this, we will get a negative value, so that should be in fall. Then this minus this, we will get a negative value, so that also should be in fall. Now we can calculate these three reduced levels. This plus this, we will get this. This minus this, we will get this. This minus this, we will get this. Now we can find these reduced levels. This minus this, we will get this. This minus this, we will get this. In the similar way, we can get these reduced levels. We have found all of the fall and rise except in the fifth station. We can compare these two values. This reduced level is bigger. That means in the fifth reading, there should be rise. This minus this, we will get the rise as a 0.355. We can enter that. Let us keep this intermediate side as x. This minus this, we will get a positive 0.355 because that is rise. So x will be 1.5. We can apply that. This minus this, we will get a negative 0.1 because that is a fall. Using that concept, we can find x as 1.6. Let us enter that. In the similar way, we can find the remaining readings or we can apply the shortcut. You can see that all of the falls are 0.1. So we have to just increase every reading by 0.1. 
this will be 1.7 this will be 1.8 this will be 1.9 and the last one will be 2 then we can find the total we have to add all of the back sides then all of the four sides then all of the rights and then all of the false now we can apply the check summation of four side difference summation of back side will be equal to summation of fall difference summation of rise and that will be equal to the difference between first oral and last oral for all of them we will get the same value hence okay alternatively we can solve the same problem by height of instrument method there are four back sides so there will be four height of instruments in the first station when we add the back side with the reduced level we will get the first height of instrument the height of instrument minus the four sight we will get the reduced level in the station number two then there is a new back sight so we have to find a new height of instrument when we add the back sight with the reduced level we will get that the height of instrument minus the four sight we will get this reduced level in the station number 3, there is new back sight. So we have to find a new height of instrument. When we add the back sight with the reduced level, we will get that. The height of instrument minus the four sight, we will get the reduced level in the station number 4. In the station number 4, there is new back sight. So we have to find new height of instrument. When we add the back sight with the reduced level, we will get that. Now we can find these reduced levels very easily. We know that for these readings, the fall between two consecutive readings is 0.1. Using that, we can find these reduced levels. Because it is a fall, we have to subtract 0.1 by each reduced level 1 by 1. This minus 0.1, we will get this. This minus 0.1, we will get this this minus point 0.1 we will get this in the similar way we can find these two we know that this height of instrument minus this intermediate site we will get this reduced level using that concept we can find this intermediate site which is 1.5 in the similar way we can find these readings or we can apply a shortcut we know that for these readings, the fall is 0.1. So we have to increase every reading by 0 0.1. 1.5 plus 0.1, we will get this. 1.6 plus 0.1, we will get this. In the similar way, we can find this. Then we can find the summation of back side and four side. Then we can apply the check. For both of these, we will get the same value. Hence, okay. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.